Good afternoon, good evening. I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming. I'm here with you doing a first look of a classic game called Mortal Kombat X. Released in 2015, and this is also Mortal Kombat XL. So, you get to play the storyline is where I think it's an invasion of Outworld in which Earthrealm has been invaded and it was like a bad, it was a war that might have taken place and certain key members had been killed off and they've been reanimated like not their former, not their former selves so we're going to take a deep dive into this first look, the first hour of Mortal Kombat X on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming, so let's get on with it. But you can also play as some secret characters. Anyway, let's just give a quick playthrough. Uh, we, I will have this as a future Let's Play, and it'll be the first ever fighting game to debut as a future Let's Play class. So be on the lookout for that this year. So there's multiple modes here. Yeah. And obviously there's new characters, as well as returning characters, and undead characters, and characters she making their debut. Me. Into for the last time, time. This time Melina. you get to Kano play was as to kill you, miserable Jason, snake. Rubro not day. Friday the Thirteenth, uh, uh, the Tenth uh, Massacre, uh, and even the Xenomorph uh, from Aliens. Uh, you get to play as those too. You get to play as those characters. Another Adenian, the supposed half god. No, oh, god here. I am a Each son of Argus. I was not merely declared a god by being no one of the Give or take Ulek. two or three matches. Surely Melina suspects your true intentions, son of Argus. This is Colt O'Connor, who is the, uh, I think the son or the dis direct descendant of Shao Kahn. But I think he's neutral when it comes to his uh, minor. My game. intentions are to teach you the difference between pretension. So his arch and nemesis is, of course, Molina, as you just saw in battle. And this is Rain. So he has the power to control Walker. And of course, there's the X ray system where if you get the meter high enough, you can actually see the graphical X ray special effect. But you had to be doing the hit combos and everything. But there's also interactive uh, stages level where you can actually interact. You have to do with like a certain, I guess, at the right time where you can actually interactive environments. For example, you can toss an old lady at your opponent, and that was me. But it's also funny. See, she just, he just tossed an old lady at me. That's kind of me. But there's also some quick time oh events where you have to press the button to the right. Press 
press the pause button, you, when you press the pause button, you can actually see the moves as well as the fatalities. And the fatalities are listed right here. And they actually tell you like how far you have to be on your opponent. Like yesterday, I played as Jason Voorhees. Yes, that's right, Jason Voorhees. And I actually did his fatality where he hacks the fallen opponent to death with his machete. <laughs> Since the enemy AI in this game, uh, most fighting games, it learns on how you use the controller. So if you keep doing the same moves over and over again, the artificial intelligence is going to pick up and find a way to... It's going to select a program or algorithm to find out how to counter attack and you know, how to counter your repeated moves. So you got to catch them, give them the element of surprise, in this case the artificial intelligence. Because it can learn how you're playing, like you keep on hitting the same button like I'm doing repeatedly, the same button combinations, it's gonna learn, learn how to counterattack. So it's really You can actually skip the fight. I don't think it impacts the gameplay any iota. <laughs> Look at that. That should silence you. I think it's just done as an option to break the monotony of the of the cutscenes. But I mean, I like watching the cutscenes. You won't touch him again. That, that's Arrow Black. He kind of reminds me of Jonah Hex. But I will. There's Melina. As the heir to my father, Shao Kahn, I, Melina, Kahnam of Outworld, order your execution! Execution. I 
There will be an execution this day. You will atone for your descent, Melina. Your blood will make right. Up the stair path. To the fire's edge. <laughs> A mere cub, grown to be a jaguar. Once we hit the drop point, we split up. Jackie and I will come in from the south, you two from the west. Rendezvous here, the north entrance. Then what? A simple pick up and go? We bag him if he resists. Resistance might be more possible than you think. Don't sweat it. It comes to that, Sub-Zero won't know what hit him. This is Cassie Cage, the daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blair. The forward defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. It is time to entertain our guests. All right, I've got point. You and Jin, that side. Move! Ready? Jackie Briggs. Yes, he guessed it. The daughter of Jackson Briggs, aka Jax. So this takes about 20 years after the first cutscene. Damn it, Jin. You! I need to. You are not welcome here. State your intentions. Grandmaster, we need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant... You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off, surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first like choice. Steve. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! Cassandra Cage. You lead this group, but they do not follow. What would your mother do? Stop wasting time and take you down. Shiver, Miss Cage. Stop 
stop wasting time and take you down. like your mother than you think. Your power should have revealed my intention, Takahashi Takeda. No doubt Kenshi taught you how to use them. My father taught me a lot, Grandmaster. Let us see. You cannot win. You 
I'm not your father. Not yet. Huh? Huh? Damn it. You announced your arrival, Jacqueline Briggs. Specialist Briggs. Yes, military decorum is important in your family. Yeah. Jackson Briggs. If you know Daughter. my father, you know me. Thought you and he were friends. Our histories share a dark chapter. The father can dodge that. You grow weaker. You feeling it now? Quarts of blood and not even cannot evade me. Violence begets violence. Gotcha.
All right, I'll skip that. Do not judge yourself harshly, Specialist Briggs. rather than mock your superiors. I'll remember that, in case I ever meet one. Bravado does not suit you. What should we do with them? Any ideas? Sub Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're gonna catch hell if you kill us. Yes. I suppose so. Chuo, Dang Jin. That worked. This was all a, a a training exercise. Damn, I should have seen it. You and your <laughs> friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. But until you function as one, you will fall short. So other than that, you enjoyed your visit? The Lin Kuei shredded us. You, maybe. I see plenty of frozen boot prints on your ass, too. Come on now. You're all winners in my book. New orders from General Blade. Priority one, Outworlders. Here in Earthrealm. An invasion? Couldn't be. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Cage? Outworlders, I can handle. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees from the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do 
Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Li Mei Such is war. In Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? I was at the E3. This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. Kano. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Lee Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Li Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. I don't know. I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? Shell in Archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. Li Mei has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. Because you can always trust an Outworlder. But if Outworlds are ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance, not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. So Arrow Black is You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Kotal Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the Khan, I'll tell him you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. One hell of a cosplay, Carol Black. Hell, even Kun Lao. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, 
Having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? Get out of here! Go! I knew I shouldn't have listened to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. Happiness is a warm gun. new holes. I'm a quick learner. As for a pony like every other girl? The archives never mention symbiotes.
make trouble, Skinny! Trouble make you! Love to learn more about you. Too bad you're insane. You guys all right? <laughs> Yes. This one Come must on. learn more of your diplomatic techniques. We're here to see Kotal Khan. General Blaze. You interfere with outworld matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But, as we honor the Reiko Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk interrealm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable. Five years ago.
It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom. One that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao. After his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn! And stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No. Not far enough. gonna go see the other features in Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 or XL. You got Faction War, Living Towers. Let's look at Faction War. play on first we're gonna do a benchmark test
we can play a scorpion. Katana, Kenshi, Sonya Blade, Jax, Kung Lao, Shinnel, Predator, Leatherface, Triborg, Tremor, Goro, Quanji, Raiden, Devora, Takeda, Malina, Therator, Devora, Jackie Briggs, Kunjin, Tanya, the, Indi the Adenia, Bo Ray Cho, the Alien, or the Xenomorph, Jason, Predator, Let's play as Leatherface. Leatherface. Versus Jason. Leatherface versus Jason. Jason Voorhees. Round one, fight! fight. the two fatalities which involves close hold right and hit X hook and singer so we're gonna do hold right right trigger and X and then press X <laughs> Just like Final in the film. Round. Fight! Jason wins.
This time we're gonna play as Predator versus the Xenomorph. I think I'll be Predator. Predator. Alien. Ghosted us and then certain death. Right trigger and X. Okay. <laughs> And there you have it, your first look of Mortal Kombat 10 on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming. And of course, this will be a future Let's Play classic coming up later this year. Until then, I've killed a bit for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming, and please stay safe.